And today I really want to dive deep and talk a little bit about the music industry. Um, you know what I mean? There's a lot of different shit that's going on right now in the music industry. I know y'all pay attention to most of this shit. It's a lot of artists that's losing their life. It's a lot of artists that's literally like, I feel like this is like probably one of the worst years when it comes to artists because we didn't lost so many different artists. We just lost King Von recently. We lost another Dallas rapper, Mo3. Uh, Boosie was just shot at yesterday. Uh, there's so much different shit going on with these rappers. But really what I wanted to dive deep in, I wanted to talk about the deeper reason and, and really dive deep on why most of this shit is going on with these rappers. Now, as y'all know, most of these rappers, all right, most of the artists that we listen to, the Uzis, the Young Boys, the, the, the Futures, all these different guys right here, man, most of these guys, right, and it's sad, that, it's sad to say, but most of these guys is really fucking slaves. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Most of these guys are really slaves, and a lot of people don't understand this, but the music industry and the, and the labels and all that, that, that whole lifestyle, bro, it's demonic as fuck. Okay, understand this. I never been in the music industry. I make music. I love music. But I know when I blow up and I become bigger than what I am, I'm not signing and I'm not even finna be in cahoots with that lifestyle because I know what come with it. That lifestyle was demonic as hell. That's, that's like the devil's land. They, all they do is worship money, cars, clothes, hoes. Uh, they rap about perks, mollies, drink, smoking gas. Uh, different things, all this shit that kill you. <laughs> like, do y'all notice that rappers mostly rap about all this different shit that fucking kill you? Like, that's what they rap about. Popping a molly. Sipping that act. You know what I mean? This is what they rap about. Now, don't get me wrong. I even got a couple lines in my raps talk about certain shit. So I can't even sit here and be a fucking hypocrite. But it's sad to say, this is what sells, y'all. And this is what the, the labels uh, tell these rappers to rap about. These niggas rap about this shit because this is what sells. This is what tie kids. And I keep telling y'all, everything is an agenda. These labels be racist as hell. That's something that a lot of people don't know. These labels be racist as hell. These labels be, be ran by white corporate motherfuckers. And what they do is they come and they assign younger artists for all this money. And the younger artists, not knowing they worth, not knowing what's going on, all they see is this check. They just sign their soul away. Sign they soul away. Now they slaves. Now they got to do it. Uzi complain every damn... Uh, uh, this nigga always complaining about how he can't drop music. How he depressed. How he all... Like, uh, every, all these rappers be crying out for help. Even in their songs sometimes. Like, you see Youngboy all the time. Uh, NBA Youngboy, he always crying out for help. Talking about how he... He, he even said in one of his songs, uh, labels is a new age slavery. Because it is. Racism is still a thing. It's just in the... It's more in the rap game than where... <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man, these rappers be slaves. They pay these niggas to push agendas. Rap about this so more kids can pop molly. Rap about this. So more, all it do, all it is made to do is lower your vibration. The music we listen to, that play a big part on why we feel the way we feel. Understand this, man. But more of the story is the music industry is demonic as hell. And a lot of guys lose their life because they don't understand that these labels, most of this shit be Illuminati shit, y'all. When you sign yourself, when you sell your soul, and a lot of people don't understand this too, but selling your soul ain't just signing a contract. Like, it's not just signing a contract. Like, once you get into the lifestyle of uh, and, and get into the devil's lifestyle, you worship what the devil like, like money, cars, clothes, basically things that don't add any value, basically materialistic things. Once you get into that point, you sold your soul. You sold your soul. Anything that you, anything that, that that's getting you out of your character for some money, that's selling your soul. Like, you see a lot of these girls making OnlyFans accounts, showing they... All they, you know what I mean? Shit on OnlyFans and stuff like that. Like, these girls be doing this shit for money. Anything that lower yourself for some cash, that's selling your soul, bro. I don't give a damn. You know what I mean? And that's just what it is. And a lot of these rappers is losing their life right now because they in this lifestyle of this. Like, they, they, their vision is just blurred. Everything around them is just demonic shit. Even the people they have around them. You know what I mean? Like, this lifestyle is just, it's, it's not it, man. The rap game is just, it's not it. The rap game is going downhill every single day, y'all. Uh. You know what I mean? It's going downhill every single day. And the funny part is, the labels don't even care that these rappers die. Because why? Because they're going to make way more money. Look what they did to the Extentation shit. Niggas is making cash off that nigga. And he gone. He gone. All that hard work he put in when he was alive, just for his legacy to be fucking, like, destroyed like how it did, man, it's crazy. Look at um, King Von. When King Von dropped the Welcome to Old Black album before he passed, it didn't sell how it sell now. Soon as he passed, the, the, the sales went up. Skyrocketed. You know what I'm saying? 
Like this, that's just what it is, man. This label shit and this music industry shit is not what it seems. Everybody want to become a rapper, everybody want to get into this lifestyle, but they don't know what come with it. You know what I mean? And, and I'm glad that, you know, I'm, I'm learning this shit. I'm learning a lot about this, this rap industry because I used to be one of the people that used to want to be a rapper. I used to just see the lifestyle, see the music videos, the hoes and the cars, not realizing like behind closed doors, these niggas is really on some demonic shit and they be on some weird shit. Like all these celebrities, they, 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 some weird ass shit, man. There's something weird going on. You know what I mean? Demonic stuff feeding on their energy. Um, all type of shit, man. Blood sacrifices. Sometimes some of these rappers even sacrifice their peoples to blow up more than what they is. This is a real thing, y'all. Niggas really be doing this shit. They sacrifice some of their peoples to blow up more. It'd it be crazy because it's like once somebody uh, pass away, the artists just blow up out of nowhere. Just blow the fuck up. That don't make any sense. But that's just how it is, man. You know what I mean? It's more to this music shit than what we think. You know, it's definitely more stuff that go on behind closed doors, and it, it, it's a demonic lifestyle. You know what I mean? They worship materialistic stuff, and that's just what it is. Y'all notice how NLE Chopper, NLE Chopper dropped a uh, mixtape. I think it was a tape or album. I don't know what it was. It was like a conscious tape. The nigga only sold 6K units in the first week. You know what I mean? 6K units in the first week. So that should go to show you right there. Niggas do not want to hear no woke shit. That's just the truth. I, I told y'all this. Niggas be coming at me, bro, why you don't make woke music? I make a couple conscious music, but bro, niggas is not finna ride around listening to conscious songs, bro. The generation changed. It's flipped. It's flipped. They want to hear popping mollies, popping pills. This is what sells. This is the agenda. Look at that Cardi B and that Mega Lasalle song. I guarantee you that song, was that was not their idea to create. The labels told them to, uh, to do that shit. Hey, make a song called WAP. Make a song talking about this. This is gonna sell records, man. This is gonna give you some, 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 some. This is gonna sell records. Anything to make them niggas some money, bro. Most of the shit that these rappers do or come out with, they don't even come up with the idea. The labels do it. I just seen the kid Lori. He had a mixtape cover. He had like devil horns and shit in his mixtape cover. Like I'm like, why do these rappers be doing this? But it's not even the rappers. It's the labels. They push these agendas so the listeners can lower their vibration. They push these agendas so the listeners. This, it's all for the listeners. It's all to push an agenda. It's all to keep people distracted. It's all to keep people low. Y'all notice how rappers nowadays is like the main topic? Rappers be like more like of the topic than election and, and presidential shit. Like these niggas, it's like head to head. People focus on rap like rappers more than they focus on their life. People focus on rappers' lifestyle more than they focus on their life. Did you see so-and-so relationship? They arguing. Why the fuck you focus on... Money bag yo and all this different nigga, you bro, you 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 focus on money bag yo on his relationship, nigga. You need to focus on getting you some money in your pocket. But that should go to show you how this agenda shit is it's a real thing, man. And the and the music industry is definitely demonic. It's more shit to it than what we think. The only thing we see is the music and the music videos. That's the only thing we see in here. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors, but I can guarantee you that is way more than what we think. And the funny part is these rappers can't even come out and say nothing. These niggas know a lot of shit, y'all. A lot of shit. These niggas been seeing a lot of shit. But they can't speak. Because that they do, it's over. It's over. Y'all see what happened to YK Osiris? I made a whole video on that nigga. It got like a million views. The nigga made a video. He went live, exposing the industry. Nigga went quiet after that. Nigga went to jail and everything, went quiet. We don't know that nigga could have got cloned. 
<laughs> like, uh, this, he could have got cloned. They don't like that shit. I told y'all with Isaac Cappy. Look up Isaac Cappy. He was an actress, a Hollywood actress. The nigga came out and exposed Hollywood. He came out and exposed Hollywood. Like, them niggas was doing blood sacrifices. They was uh, getting high off people's blood and shit. It was weird, bro. Like, so it's a lot of weird shit that go on in these industries, bro, that people don't know about. Hollywood specifically. They be doing all type of shit. They be taking kids for their blood, getting high off their blood. Like, what the fuck? Weird shit. Weird, non-humanly shit. That's why I be telling y'all, man, I believe it's, it, we not the only niggas on this planet. We not. We got aliens. We got all type of shit. These niggas are demons in disguise. Real shit. <laughs> this is what it is, man. So understand this. But yeah, Isaac Cappy, he exposed Hollywood. He got into, uh, I think he did a live or something like that. He, he exposed Hollywood like a week later. They said he died from suicide. Now you, now you, you, y'all know what happened. This is what it is, man. This is the industry. This is the, these, these industries, the, the movie, all these, these niggas know something. All these rich motherfuckers, they know way more than what we know. We don't, we don't know anything, but what they put out, they know way more than what we know. They didn't seen so much different shit go on, man. That lifestyle, I'm telling you, is demonic. It's demonic. You know what I mean? So, uh, that's just what it is, man. But. Hey, what the fuck do I know? You know what I mean? Um, and, and for all the rappers that just go and pass away and stuff like that, like for the people that just passed, they, the, the labels or whatever, they finna make a lot of money, man. Sad that when you pass, you make way more money. I never understood that. But this is the music industry, and that's that's what these industries come with. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new. Y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. What y'all think going on, man? What y'all think about this, the rap industry? What y'all think about with everything going on, man? I love y'all. I'm out, y'all.